I should leave while I still have a chance. No, then there would have been no point in coming here. Or should I wait until everyone's gone and search their offices? Oh, I can't. I'd probably get caught doing that, and then... Maybe I should get out of here. Damn it! I can't hear them clearly. If only I could hear just one thing. Something important. Let's have Kira get rid of him. I heard it! They really are working with him! I did it! This is huge! Mr. Honjo? Uh, Mr. Honjo? Uh, sorry to wake you up, but we're at your apartment and I can't quite figure out how you're supposed to open the garage door. It's pretty late, isn't it? So how are you planning to get home, Kinoshita? I was gonna catch a cab. Why don't you just take my car? What? Are you serious? Hey, Birdenberger! Are the boys back from ghost hunting? Ghost hunting? You sound surprising! Don't you know what your boy's up to? Nice parenting, Birdenberger! <laughs> uh, hello? Hey, Bert! You there? This isn't Ninjago City! This isn't my wish! I told you to take me back! Ugh, this isn't what I wished for! I wish you to take me back. Back to when things were good. Back to before all this mess, when, when people liked us. And bad guys like you were never a problem. Milady, I am Nicholas, young swain from the East. Most privileged to make your acquaintance. Think that was polite enough? Absolutely. Think you can top it? I, kind swain, am Blair, maiden of Gardenia. Honored above all to be welcomed into your swaininess. Well done. The Defender of the Universe was declared a hazardous threat and decommissioned without even attempting to fix it. How shady is that? My dreams? Gone. Now, the only thing that excites me is going fast. Really fast. So, I enrolled in the Galaxy Alliance Flight Academy, where things have turned out to be slow. Really slow. <sighs> You're in the resistance? At least I'm doing something. I don't do causes. I'm only here to see Elena. Since when did you care? Since now. They're loading them into those containers. Drive back and tell Karina. I'm gonna need some backup. It will be your last failure in this life. Nothing shall stand between the Mandarin and his destiny. I will retrieve the ring myself. Stain believes this armored fool can prevent me from seizing the Makluan ring? That ring belongs to the Mandarin by right! Start. Hey, uh, Jean? What's up? Good question. What exactly are you up to? And don't lie because you're really bad at it. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. None. See what I mean? You're a terrible liar. You Potts and Rhodes had to go to a lot of trouble to make this little excursion happen. I'm guessing that there's something much more interesting in here than Rhodey's lunch. You should have asked me to help. I will not be questioned in front of my men. Uh, stepfather, I didn't mean any disrespect. I... What you meant means nothing. I'm told you now call yourself Jean Khan. Pathetic. You are weak. Corrupted by the West like your mother was. Question me again, and you will join her. You giants have always treated us like second-class beings because of our stature. With high rollers, jellyfish armor, and my shrinking staff. We will cut all giants down to size! Giants always underestimate us, but First Squad does not. That is why we will join your little green. Well, hello. I am Prince Blue Blood. I am Rarity. Oh my, what a lovely rose! You mean... this rose? <laughs> Thank you. It goes with my eyes. Fritters, dumplings, caramel apples, my royal lips have touched common carnival fare. I'm going to the buffet for some hors d'oeuvres. Your Highness, thank you for understanding our desire to keep the number of those privy to these confidential discussions to a minimum. Of course. 
picking up the final all important ingredient for my contest entry Donut Topia! And with these super sprinkles, my donuts are gonna dunk all the other lousy desserts, steal first prize, and make my donut shop famous forever! <laughs> hey guys, come on! Seriously, leave him alone, or he might fly away. That is, uh, if he had any wings. <laughs> well, if you weren't just hatched, how come we haven't seen you around before? Oh, well, you see, I live in Ponyville, and, and I'm... <laughs> Ponyville? That explains it! I knew there was something vaguely ponyish about you. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were part pony. Or maybe you're a pony in a dragon costume. Twilight? I almost didn't recognize you. When did you start wearing glasses? Um, like since forever. <laughs> oh, so how long are you here for? Just for the friendship games. Right, of course. We'll totally win with you here. We've got to stop bumping into each other like this. You're gonna have to take a seat! Are you okay? Yeah, it was so weird. We were stuck in the middle of the lake with no wind. Then all of a sudden, BAM! The wind picked up and we were pushed right into the dock. Well, don't worry about it. I got this! Gloriosa! I kicked my beanbag into the lake! The Slugterra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. The story begins 88 generations ago in a land called China with my ancestor, Yang, a great archer. Yang lived at the time of the first emperor. The emperor was a cruel and evil man, obsessed with finding the mythical elixir of life, a potion that supposedly granted immortality. If we have some time, there's something I've been wanting to ask you about. And what is that? Everything! Where did the emperor come from? What were the eastern caverns like before him? He's not coming back, is he? The Emperor? I don't know what you're talking about. Quit playing dumb! The sword! What sword? I don't know anything about a sword. And besides, the legend is not even true. Please, listen. You must not trifle with the sword. It is very powerful. Well, I'll take all the boring stuff, the credit, the trophy, the photo, while you get the real reward. Silent appreciation! It's my turn to win! I know, but Troll, this really isn't for me. It's for my poor injured father, standing up at home in agony. He's already covered in hundreds of tiny, terrible holes. Don't make me add a big one to his heart! We need to act fast! I'll swing, fly through that window, probably do a few triple flips, and then rescue the love of my life, our love of my life. Here I go! So, are you gonna jump? Don't rush me! into the homing beacon! I can't find you without the beacon! That's it! Where's that tracker? This just has to work! There's no other way! Yes! Okay, I'll put the tracker on you, and you fetch my family. Got it? Max, you really shouldn't be doing this. Here, let me try. Oh, what? You again? You know, I hate to say it, but shouldn't we bring him back? He returns. Recommence the probing. Hmm, it must be ready by now. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? You know how things move faster on ice? Well, sliding! The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. <laughs> I like this place. So much stuff to smash. This is way easier than I thought it would be. Hand it over, Mephisto. It's mine. I got it fair and square. Nothing's fair and square about stealing. Hello? 
I'm Mephisto! Listen, I have faith in you. But you'll definitely need help. You gotta get this rare book about dragons and black magic. It's at a hidden marketplace. My friend Sira runs an inn high in the mountains. She'll hook you up. I tried a lot of different things before I took up being bad. I tried being a wizard, but that blew up on my face. Ouch! I tried being a knight, but there's a lot of pointy stuff you have to be careful with. No, I'm bad. I'm really, really bad. And I'm gonna be the best bad guy there is. Oh, and nobody's laughing at me anymore. <laughs> it's okay, but you better leave that collar alone. Oh, oh. Don't look so bummed. At least now the Remy's can start turning this rock into Kong Island. Finger five? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Give it up. Because very soon, you're going to be a full-blown superstar. <sighs> Just don't forget. I knew you went. Our training program usually lasts a full year. But we've been cleared to attack Dread Industries in three days. That means you two are getting the accelerated course. <laughs> no offense, little guy, but I don't think flying's really your thing. Captain Quark suggested we put you in a position a little less, uh... Dangerous? Well... Hmm? Okay, let's dig deep. Don't quit on me now. Can you feel it? Huh? Huh? Can you feel the burn? Okay, two thousand more. Two thousand? And two, oh. three, and four. No pain, no gain. I will tell you very much that you look disgusting, bro. Oh, come on. Yes, someone there. Help me, someone. Help me. Help me. No. Help. Dying. So cold. Hey, fun! Welcome to the aisle! Wanna dance?